Hey, what's up, guys? It's Unleashed here today, and we are back with another video on Sonic Frontiers. So yesterday, literally like 10 minutes after I dropped my video, Sega decided to go ahead and drop another Sonic Frontiers trailer. Thanks, Sega. I really appreciate that. Yeah, very helpful. Thanks. But yeah, we have a new trailer, so let's react to it. So, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's react to the Sonic Frontiers overview in three, two. One, go! Sega. In Sonic's newest adventure, right, he's headed go. to the Starfall Islands in search of Chaos Emeralds with his friend, Amy Ooh, and Tails, okay. when trouble strikes, suddenly sucking their plane into a dimensional portal. Our oh, new hero office. awakens in a Star sanctuary. digital world called Ooh, that, Cyberspace. That kind of reminds me of that speed highway section, doesn't it? Friends, yeah. Sonic miraculously escapes from the oh, end of the Cyberspace level and arrives on Kronos, one of the beautiful Starfall Islands. A curious wilderness full of ancient ruins, Ooh, strange nighttime. inhabitants, and sinister enemies. Our loyal blue hedgehog must now find his lost friends, explore this exotic world, and solve the oh, mystery that's reused, of the Starfall that's old this from the last trailer. Sonic Frontiers expands on what fans know and love about traditional Sonic games, combining linear level gameplay and open zone platforming into a new, action-filled Sonic experience. This music sounds kind of good. Wait, what was, what was that? Ever, giving Sonic more room to run and explore his surroundings. Sonic Frontiers offers high speed RS Island. open zone gameplay. They Whoa, give okay. The to play the They're platforming that, I can see. Best matches your play style. What's that? Engage red, orange glowing thing there. combat with exciting new enemies. Solve intriguing puzzles and complete fun side quests. Oh, that's what that is. I've seen that a lot of screenshots, actually. Oh, Solving good. puzzles will reward the player with items that can increase Sonic's power and defense. Reveal hidden parts of the map and unlock new ways to navigate the island at fast speeds. Scattered around the Starfall Island, Wait, why is that purple? Space portals. It's supposed to be Why is it purple? It used to be red. What the hell? Earn portal right. gears that unlock these stages. You'll need to complete challenges within each cyberspace stage. To earn vault keys that can be used to unlock Chaos Emerald vaults and allow you to progress further in the game. In Sonic Frontiers, Sonic's combat gets an upgrade, making battling enemies more exciting and fluid than yeah, that ever animation before. definitely fixed. Yeah, that, that's With definitely fixed. New skill tree system featuring a new area of this little canyon here. That's pretty cool. Level up. You'll have plenty of options to fight strategically, combine dodges, Ooh, new animation there. parries, counters, and more. If you prefer more straightforward gameplay, check out Auto Combos, where various attack combos can be executed with a single button. The yeah, we know about this. Thankfully, we can actually turn it off so it's no worries. Enjoy the fast and flexible new combat system. Sonic's enhancements don't stop there. He's learned a new ability called Psyloop, a band of light that mirrors Sonic's tracks. Surround enemies, items, and areas to uncover different effects and unlock all the secrets of the Starfall Island. What the hell is that? Get ready to blaze what was your that? own trail and forge a new frontier in Ooh, Sonic Frontiers. That cool. Available November 8th. Stay tuned for more details. Alright, that was a pretty good trailer, I think. Nothing brand new there, honestly. Some little snippets of new footage there, but I think this was more surprising if I didn't see all the demo footage and stuff like that because, yeah, we saw a lot of this in the demo, so... For the people who have been catching up on news, pretty good trailer, this, I would say. Does a good job explaining the plot and stuff, parts of the game, so yeah, pretty good trailer, I would say. Right then, time for some analysis. Right, so the first bit of new gameplay that we see is the opening of the City Cypher stage, and this is the 3D one. And this area honestly just reminds me of the opening of Speed Highway. So maybe this area is a Speed Highway, but in daytime? I don't know, because the next new bit of gameplay we see is in the city level once again. And this session honestly just reminds me of that Speed Highway session where you're going down the building of all the cops chasing you. Kind of like in Generations, I don't know say one. So maybe this area is actually Speed Highway, but in daytime, because you do have the cars here too, and there were cars in the Generations version of the stage, so who knows? The next bit of new gameplay that we haven't seen before is the end of the city side of the stage, and uh, we can't really decipher much from it, honestly. We just see the end of the stage, and that's really it, honestly. The next is of the Starfall Islands, and I'm pretty sure this is the... First thing we saw, like in the, you know, back in the Game Awards, just from a different angle, I'm pretty sure. Because this looks like the same rock that we saw before, so pretty sure that's what this is. Right next bit of new footage is this area here at nighttime, where he's going around on this rail. And um, apart from that, nothing too interesting here. 
Brand new spirit and new footage is this place here on the side of this mountain, I think, where you can see something punching a box and it looks like some sort of platforming section here, so that's good. Then the next shot is Sonic in Eris Island and climbing on top of this green wall thing and then probably some dash pads there where you can actually run along the wall, so yeah, that's interesting once again. Then we see an extended bit of that uh, platforming section we saw earlier and it seemed like you can just skip the platform with these balloon things, which I'm not really a fan of, honestly. Kind of just babies it down a bit, I mean, if you do on the platform, I guess you get the 10 rings, so that's something. Some sort of reward's good, but still, I think I prefer it without the balloons, honestly. Then we see a bit more platforming here with these balloons here once again, so... Yeah, nothing too amazing with the platforming on um, Kronos Island from what I've seen so far. There is one section later in the trailer which I'll actually take a look at, but um, yeah, nothing too interesting so far. The next shot here, we can see some of those enemies, I forgot what those are called, but... At the end of those little three chain of them, you see something floating over there, I mean... It does look like an animal capsule, but there's no animals in Sonic Frontiers, so... Maybe it's a Coco capsule or something? I don't know, I mean, you do have to find the Cocos and give it to the Elder Coco, so... Maybe that's what a uh, Coco can be trapped in? Not sure. I mean, there's some sort of propeller on it too, so... Unless that's a different type of enemy, I'm not really sure at this point. Then we see Sonic climbing up some wall, I think, and then going into spring to some platforms. Then we have a little rail section here in Aris Island, but I noticed that there's two circular rails in the sky and they don't connect to anything. Why would you want to go there? I mean, it literally takes you nowhere. That, that looks really weird, honestly. At least with the rails on Cronus Island, that should take you somewhere and could be using some platforming. But for that, what are you supposed to do with that? That, that is just useless. That is just pathetic, man. Like, that is just stupid. But then we do see some of the original crates from, I think, Sonic Forces. They look a bit different, so that's sort of interesting, I suppose. And then when the camera angle actually changes, I just saw something on the left there. What's that? Looks like some sort of tent, I think. Unless it's an enemy. I'm not sure what that is, but, um... Yeah, just something I noticed here. Rather than here, we have a bit more open platforming, I would say. Well, it's not really platforming, is it? It's kind of just homing attack into balloons, but it definitely looks a lot more open, which I'm very happy about. Right, in this shot here with Sonic bouncing on this spring over that rock, there's some sort of orange line in the sky. Is that some sort of waypoint they can put on some sort of map that you have in the game? I don't know, but uh, I don't know what that is, honestly. Right, next we see some sort of new puzzle that we haven't seen before, and um, it looks like there's two hoops and he spawns in, so either you can hit it into either one of them, or you have to spawn two balls by doing the side loop again around it and then hitting it into both hoops, so if that's the case, then that's good. Some puzzles are actually requiring Sonic's moveset, that's what you want to see, perfect. Then we see Sonic hitting this um, hourglass, is it called? Yes, an hourglass, and uh, I don't know what that's for, honestly. Uh, apparently there's some sort of time trials in these islands where you race from one part to the other, so maybe that's what this is, I don't know. Right, just want to take a look at this um, portal here. For some reason, it's purple instead of red. I don't know why it's purple. Um, maybe it changes color to show that you've completed this stage. Maybe red showcases that you've ever done this one before, then purple shows that you've done it before, but you can just retry it again. Maybe that's what this means, I don't know. Or maybe this changed it all together. I'm not sure, but... Um, or maybe it's even an earlier build where it used to be purple, but now it's red. I don't know why it's purple, honestly. It's just a few theories I have. And then we see some more gameplay of the flyer boss, and yeah, it really does look like you can actually fly everywhere with this boss. It just keeps going until you defeat it, because we haven't seen this part of the island yet. Well, this is more than one, but um, yeah, it's still pretty cool. The flyer boss is looking pretty sick, honestly. Right, in this fight with this um, Aris Island boss, this is a little shot here. We can see some sort of walls in the background. Can we climb on those? Because I do remember in uh, one of my last videos saying that in some description of Iris Island that there's some sort of defensive walls and laser cannons for the ancients that were on this island. So maybe that's what this is. I'm pretty sure it might be those defensive walls. I think that's what that is. And yeah, you can clearly see that this animation here has been fixed too. It's all over that thing with his legs sticking out. It's a lot more polished because something actually runs around it now instead of just having his legs sticking out. Looks a lot less janky. Then we have a little canyon section in Aris Island. Looks pretty sick, honestly. And we can see some sort of, you know those spikes from Sonic Unleashed? We can see a circle of them there with, I think that's a Knuckles memory token in the middle, so yeah. Then in this night type section of Aris Island, we can see that when Sonic hits the enemy, well, actually it's one of those circular, not circular, the cylinder thing. Sonic actually has a new, like, falling animation or something. And I like the expression on his face too. Looks really good there. Then we see a little bow with the banger and um, yeah, little dodges you can see there and um, yeah, pretty interesting. Rather less interesting thing is here with these little light things. Honestly, you know what these remind me of? You know the Will-O-Wisps from Sonic and the Black Knight? That's what these look like honestly and um, yeah, I don't know why 
we would need to do this. Maybe some sort of puzzle that happens at night. I don't know. And the final interesting shot here is here, where we see Sonic's eyes open, then some sort of glitchy effect of lightning in the background. And yeah, apparently this is actually the cutscene that plays. You know when you get the blue aura after getting a 400 rings, I think it is. That's what this cutscene is actually for. So yeah. We'll be seeing this in-game, so let's go. Anyways, that about does it for today's video. So yeah, overview trailer, nothing too new in terms of footage or anything, but um, yeah, still a pretty good trailer overall. But what do you guys think of this trailer? Does it make you more excited for Sonic Frontiers? Let me know down below. Love to see what you guys have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, especially that last one. Don't forget to become unleashed. Press that join button down below. And remember, it's not necessary. And I'll see you all next time. Peace!